kind of feel like a bum, a lazy bum. Just came off of Vietnam two and a half months, eating the food there. All that rice and bread and noodles. I put on about 10 pounds. That's not good. I think I'm gonna go to Walmart and just go grocery shopping for some clean stuff. I'm gonna diet starting now. I'm gonna lose 20 pounds in two months. No biggie. And just like that, I got up and went to Walmart. No weaning into the diet, just quitting all my junk food cold turkey. For my chicken, brown rice, chicken, tuna, cinnamon for my oatmeal. Oatmeal. I'm allowed to have some monster. Maybe it's just me, but I always feel like I'm getting the broken shopping cart no matter where I go. You know, people always ask, what kind of protein should I get? I always say, get the cheapest one. Whey protein is whey protein. Don't spend all that extra cash on super expensive protein that's not going to really deliver you any better results. It's all marketing hype anyway. So go to Walmart. Cheap. I'll show you Isogenics, motherfuckers. So this is my meal, a serving of complex carbs and a serving of protein. So this is where it starts. I'm going to uh, start dieting with the food that I bought from Walmart. And uh, you know, my fun little dig at uh, Isogenics earlier, uh, I totally meant it. Uh, there, there's nothing that they can offer that's really any better than what you can do with a little knowledge of diet. Um, it's just basic diet. You know, I used to be a bodybuilding competitor and I can shed weight if I want to. It's just all mental, you know, discipline and, um, you know, I, I could go off on isogenics people, but, uh, you know, it's just a cult. Don't, don't fall for it. You know, it's the chances of you making big money are very, very low unless you're at the very top. You're going to end up losing friends simply from uh, trying to convince them of, uh, to join and uh, their product is not any better. So uh, open up your eyes, guys. Oh, it's just as nasty as I remember it. Well, this is my second meal, brown rice and salmon. A lot of people be like, Tom, why'd you let yourself gain 10 pounds in Vietnam? Because I like food too much. I like to eat. And if I have to gain a few pounds just to taste that sweet food, I don't care, I'll do it. I know I can diet it off. I've done it before. I can do it again. So check back in a couple months, guys. This is a serious business.